Gunman kill bus driver, kidnap all passengers coming to southeast from Lagos, abandon little girl. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Gunmen suspected to be kidnappers have reportedly hijacked go motors coming to the southeast from Lagos State, southwest Nigeria, and abducted all passengers. The kidnappers reportedly killed the driver of the bus and left a little girl behind after kidnapping her parents alongside other passengers. Although Sahara reporters could not ascertain the exact location of the incident that was said to have happened on Friday, voices in a video of the incident shared by Senator Ned Moko on his ex, formerly Twitter, said that the vehicle was coming from Lagos. In the video seen by Sahara reporters on Saturday, a voice said this bus is coming from Lagos. We stopped together at Akure and ate. Meanwhile, the senator has decried the attack, noting that this was one of the reasons for the law on self-defense which he is sponsoring, at the National Assembly. Senator Moko, who expressed dismay over the handling of the kidnapping menace by the security agencies, said that perhaps if the driver had a gun or any of the passengers, the kidnappers wouldn't certainly have their way. The attack has attracted angry reactions from Nigerians, who also shared the same belief that if this is law on self-defense and residents can carry arms, the kidnapping monster would certainly be teamed. At Flourish 007 wrote, I agree with you here Mr. Senator, because one of the main reasons citizens should be allowed to carry firearms for self-defense is the fundamental right to protect oneself and loved ones from harm. In situations like this one where law enforcement wasn't available, individuals including the driver and passengers should have the means to defend themselves from potential threats. Additionally, in some areas where kidnapping and robbery are regularly occurring, response times for emergency services is always lengthy, making self-defense a crucial aspect of personal safety. Furthermore, responsible gun ownership and training can empower individuals to be more capable of protecting themselves and others in dangerous situations. However, it is important to emphasize the need for strict regulations, background checks, and training to ensure that firearms are used responsibly and safely. I wish you lawmakers can at least do this for the defenseless citizens. Obviously you guys have security attached to your roles coupled with 160 meters SUVs purchased with our money. If kidnappers knows that they are not likely to succeed and return to their forests, they will stop. At Francis underscore Ranko wrote, you are right on this, Ogre. Self-defense is the most effective way of self-preservation. Nigerians must be allowed to defend themselves. If the government fails to adhere to this, them go explain tire later. At Sonic Scarsa also wrote, it is evident that this incident happened a few minutes before the security personnel arrived. Why are they not going after the kidnappers? Why are they speaking to the girl and contaminating the crime scene? Why are men of the at police NG so unprofessional in their conduct? Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis, it's really quite unfortunate there are so many things happening in Nigeria today should have been avoided from the beginning. Nigerians, both Hausas, both Fulanese, both Yoruba, both Hebrews, even though they have few Hebrews, because that one percent that Buhari claim voted from him from Igbo land. It's also people that brought Buhari into power. Even after knowing what Buhari is capable of doing. Even after his track record, they brought him into power and removed good Lord Jonathan. And so many complained about it. Nobody wanted to listen. We had to come into office. Those he recruited from the ambit of terrorist Fulani and those he brought from our side were joined together. After he could not offer them what they agreed. And what was that they agreed? It is Biafra land. 
We suffered for eight guiding years. Buhari left office and brought in another person, Tinibu, a man that everybody knows that he was a drug baron. And that same Tinibu went for Muslim Muslim ticket because that was the agreement between him and Buhari. With also British government. After seeing all those things, the Hausas, who's supposed to understand about what is going on in their land, they refuse to do the nephew. Because in some outside states, they can see it that they voted for Tinibu. Apart from Abuja, Benue, which of course he cannot even go in an hour salam. Cannot go in a flying lap. Though they had their reason. But all that places in Flanny Land voted for Tinibu because he deceived them with Muslim Muslim ticket. They refused to see that the vice he chose was a terrorist. And this is one of the things why we told you that Nigeria can never be the same. Nigeria can never walk because we have our differences. What an Igbo man believes that would be good for Nigeria, a Fulani man will not believe that. Because Fulani always prefer that he should be their people, whether a good person or bad person. I'm not saying that there's no good flanny man. They have good flanny men. And that is also part of those good flanny men. Because I've checked his track record. But they prefer to vote in a man who is a drug baron because of a vice that they themselves personally know that he was a terrorist. Who he did so many cheap guests. He was governor then. Yoruba supported them because they want to have a Meneko, 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 Meneko. Today, they are the ones suffering the most. No doubt. The hunger is everywhere. But Igbo man, both outside and inside, will always struggle so hard to make sure that his family is feeding well, no matter how hard. The economy is. Yes, that is the truth. So many of them are sad. They will prefer to stay hungry and make sure their families eat good food in Nigeria than they are in the East. That is one of the things that Europe cannot do. And the same thing that Finland cannot do. So why are they causing problems in this contraction? I know how many boys that was killed in Lagos because of the A drug, common drug barrel. That murdered the innocent inside protesters. This is because of tribalism. Something like so tribalized. Why some believe that they must be the one without them, nothing can go. That's what Flani believe in Nigeria. It was already handed over to them by their old school man, Osman Dafoda. And that is what they are practicing today. And for that, everybody in Nigeria should bow before them. That is why you see them continue to breed bad governance in Nigeria. And this is why we have told you that this country can't work. No matter what you do. It doesn't matter how long you try. It can't work. Because they will never allow someone who is responsible to be a leader. That is the truth. Irrespective of wherever it's coming from. That is the problem we are having. Until that kind of problem stop, nothing will ever work out. Killers everywhere. Those killing today are flying terrorists. We already brought them with the help of Tinibu and their fire. So how do you expect Tinibu to get rid of them? It's not possible. Every day people continue to die in Nigeria in their own country. And you see a useless president telling you that he's going to have to go to World War. Does he see? Does he see anybody die in Africa? 
Can't you see that the Ivory Coast president is taking care of Ivory Coast? That youth are not suffering the way Nigerians are suffering, including other country in Africa. You know, that you can do my own. Want to go to Africa to watch ballon football? Why people are dying in Nigeria? Children are dying. But in hunger, they didn't die in hunger today. They will die the hand of terrorists that he recruited in 2015 with the help of Tini Buhari and other far. You people should continue deceiving yourself. I don't really have much to say. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.